Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this one, we've got another beer. See that one up there? Little one. We've got another little beer. Well, Hungarian beer, should I say. Um, <laughs> the first one weren't that good. I'll put this video up straight off. Well, the day after the video for that one there. <laughs> we've got... A Warrior IPA, clocking at 6%. Uh, brewed in Hungary, apparently. There you go. It doesn't say it's brewed in Hungary. Of course not. They're gonna, not going to put that on. I bloody should put it on. Um, it says an IPA light beer. It's 6%. Store in a cool, dry place. Yes, we know all about that. The additional information. Two UK units put out for the UK chief, blah, 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 medical officer. Now we've got the head office in Surbiton in the UK of Lidl. Then we've got the head office in Dublin. And that's it. So nothing about Hungary or where it's brewed. If you go online and you stick this beer in or put uh, its sister beer in, the Patriot or whatever it's called. Let's say it's brewed in Hungary somewhere. It's got to be legal for them to do that, but I, I just find it very annoying. There's no care being given to this at all in its presentation either. I think it, the, 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 the label's a bit naff. The back of it, blasé. Um, and of course, we'll go out and buy stuff like this without even knowing what actually is in, in this product. I call it a product or beer. So it is annoying, but that's what we do all the time, I suppose. So there is plain black crown. Let's get a whiff. I'll tell you what, it smells very similar to that page. <laughs> Not a lot going on. In fact, there's a slight hint of fruitness citrusness there in that aroma but believe you me not a lot going on so let's pour it out like you do and i'll tell you what now i should have done a back-to-back -back on these beers because that looks pretty much identical slight me yeah, slightly darker i'll say than the than the other one being a glass yeah, it's, it's quite there's a thin film of sediment there. Slight marmalade look to it. Thin in head. Let's get a whiff. It smells very similar. <laughs> it does, it does. Very similar to that other one. It's, you know, a hint of fruitness, but a very generic supermarket whiff to it slight maltiness there but it's not that pleasant to be honest it's very <sighs> not very exciting i'm gonna go in cheers definitely the same mouthfeel as that same smooth mouthfeel and the same level of carbonation is there but for me it's offering less in taste it does not it, it, it is absolutely it's pretty it's shocking it's shocking I go in I'll tell you what I get Slight hint of bitterness. Slight hint of fruitiness. Only a slight hint of maybe a lemon there. Then you get like a, a multi breadiness in this beer, which is quite overpowering 
for the other flavours, if you can pick the other flavours out. It's 6%. There's a slight hint of alcohol warmness there. You can pick that up for this. You don't get any, you know, don't get any beautiful hoppy notes. You don't get any real character to it. It's beer for the sake of it. And I think that is the best way to put this beer. It's beer for the sake of it. It's beer, it's a bottle with an IPA put on. You know, the brewery hasn't even got its name on the bottle. And to be honest, if I brewed this, I wouldn't put my name on the fucking bottle either. Um, it's so... It's everything, it, it's more or less everything I hate in supermarket beer in, in this bottle. It's devoid of any character, devoid of any love and care. It's devoid of anything memorable. And if I had a choice between this and a four pack of Foster's, I'll go for the four pack of Fosters. That's how bad I think of this and the other one. It's just a piss take, really. It's it's a piss take. Everything, you know, you look at this, it's just an absolute piss take. You know, whoever thought of putting this in to Little, you, you know, you're a fucking idiot because we're not stupid. People who drink beer, well... We sometimes, well, I'll tell you what, I'll rephrase that. <laughs> 90, 95%, you know, we are a bunch of bell ends, but <laughs> sometimes you get a beer, 5%, where we actually know what we're talking about. <laughs> we were a bunch of bell ends. Oh, I love doing these beer reviews sometimes. You just come out. And someone asked me, actually, I might as well go off on a tangent on this. Someone asked me if I script my beer. No, I fucking don't. I just say what I think. It's just years of practice. <laughs> you know what I mean? I go in again. One more for the way. It's not pleasant at all. Malt overload. Nasty taste to it, bit of bitterness to it. No, don't even bother, boys and girls. If you go to Lidl, don't not even bother with that. If you have already bothered with it, um, I feel sorry for you. It's it's terrible. Thank you so much for watching this one. <laughs> That's a abrupt end. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this one. Um, I could go on a tirade about it, but look at it. It's just, just, fuck me. It's like Stevie Wonder designed that bloody label. Absolute shit. Innit? See you on my next one. Bip, bip.